Alright guys, what is going on? It is Hank here from Nintendo. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the latest weapon to hit Splatoon, the Sloshing Machine. Alright, so I'm sure you guys can tell that the name Sloshing Machine is actually a play on the word Washing Machine. And I also know that today is Black Friday, however, I really doubt that Sheldon is going to give any of us a deal on the Sloshing Machine today, so I hope your other Black Friday finds make up for that. Jokes aside, the sloshing machine is actually a very interesting and a very unique weapon. Of course, it is a slosher, and it actually has stats that are very similar to the regular slosher stats. It has a range of 55, so it's going to outrange the slosher a little bit, a handling value of 45, so your movement and strafing is going to be a little slower on the sloshing machine compared to the slosher, and a damage output of 95. Now this damage output is actually a bit misleading. Because although it does out damage the regular slosher, it only does so when you fire with a direct hit. Now the unique aspect of the sloshing machine is how it spreads ink, and that sort of plays into this damage output confusion. So the sloshing machine actually shoots out ink in a straight narrow path, and it sort of explodes at the end of that path. It's kind of weird in that regard, it almost feels like a rapid blaster or even a rapid blaster pro. And it actually functions pretty similar to a blaster's blast radius as well. So if you get direct hits, you're gonna get a 2 hit KO, otherwise you'll be getting a 3 hit KO or worse. But yeah, the main weapon for the sloshing machine is pretty unique, so right off the bat, I'm sort of inclined to see this as a spacing control support weapon. Alright, so let's talk about the kit. It's rocking the Splat Bomb sub weapon and the Splat Bomb Rush special weapon. So here's the deal. The Splat Bomb sub weapon and the Splat Bomb Rush special weapon are both very average. However, I think they play pretty nicely with the Sloshing Machine main weapon. If you want to play the Sloshing Machine defensively as a control weapon, the Splat Bombs and the Splat Bomb Rush are definitely going to come in handy for pressuring opponents that are outside of your effective kill range and also just capturing turf in general, as the main weapon doesn't really do a good job of that on its own. But I definitely do not think this is a weapon that is going to be saved by its sub weapon, special weapon. Now I know some of you guys are annoyed because I always talk about burst bombs, but honest to god, I really feel like this weapon would have been much better had it received the burst bomb sub weapon and the Burst Bomb Rush Special Weapon. But hey, that's just the theory. A game theory. All right, so in terms of abilities, the number one thing that I wanna recommend is Damage Up. So like I said before, the damage output on the sloshing machine is pretty inconsistent, so I definitely think you're going to want to stack on a few damage up abilities. In addition to that, I'm also going to recommend Swim Speed Up. That really shouldn't be a surprise. I really think Swim Speed Up is one of the best stackable abilities in the game right now. But I actually do want to recommend something a bit more unique. Guys, today I'm going to recommend Bomb Range Up. Now, hear me out. Okay? I think if you want to use this weapon as a defensive control weapon, the added range and versatility that the Bomb Range Up ability provides you will definitely come in handy. With Bomb Range Up on this weapon, you can threaten more opponents and cover more turf. Two things that the sloshing machine definitely appreciates a lot. Anyways guys, that's all I have to say on the sloshing machine for today. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this weapon down in the comment section below. If you're feeling extra fresh, please go ahead and splat that like button and subscribe as well for more Splatoon videos. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching.